Welcome to another episode of Terrace Tips. Today we're talking about periodic functions. And I'm going to work through a simple example of the kind that you might encounter on your homework or on an exam. The example is, is the function cosine 2x plus cosine 3x a periodic function? And if so, what is the period? Let's start by remembering how cosine works. Cosine x is a periodic function and it has period 2 pi, right? It just wiggles between minus 1 and 1 and does that every 2 pi. So here's what the cosine function looks like. And we can draw on here the period just to make it very visual. 2 pi, 2 pi. And it repeats every 2 pi all the way to the left and all the way to the right. Now, what about the function cosine of 2x? Well, whenever you have a function of x and you turn it into a function of 2x, it gets squished by a factor of 2. Squished, not stretched. So its new period is 2 pi, not times 2, but divided by 2. So it's going to have period pi. And it looks exactly the same, except squished. And so here is cosine of 2x. And again, we can label the period. This time it's only pi, so we fit twice as many in on our screen. And there you have it. Cosine 2x has period pi. And now you see the pattern. Cosine of 3x, of course, has period, I hope you didn't say 6 pi. Remember, it gets squished by a factor of 3, so it's 2 pi divided by 3. So period 2 pi over 3. And then we can see what the plot looks like. It's the same function, just squished even more. And let's draw on a few more lines here for the period of 2 pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, etc. Okay. So the building blocks cosine 2x and cosine 3x are very similar, but they have slightly different periods. Now the thing you want to ask is, do they share a common period? And let's think about that by just imagine plotting them on top of each other. Here's the plot. We don't have to imagine. I've made it. So now I've put them on top of each other, these two functions. And let's think about how the periods line up. So I can again draw the blue periods, which are pi. And I can draw that for all of the range that I'm showing. And I can again draw the red periods, which are 2 pi over 3. And look what happens. Right here, after three of the red periods and only two of the blue periods, right here, we've found a common period. They both have period 2 pi. This thing here, this region 2 pi, both functions come back to themselves. So cosine 2x and cosine 3x share the period 2 pi, all right? If you're asked for the period of cosine 2x, you're supposed to say pi, because that's the smallest period. But it also has a period 2 pi. It repeats every 2 pi. And so does cosine 3x. They both repeat every 2 pi. And this observation is going to help us understand what happens when we add them together. Because if they both repeat every 2 pi, then the sum has to be 2 pi periodic. Right? Both functions come back to the same value every 2 pi, so if we add them together, that function, the sum, which we wanted at the very beginning, we were asked for cosine 2x plus cosine 3x, that has to have period 2 pi. And let's go ahead and make a plot to confirm. Here's the plot of the sum. of co This is cosine 2x plus cosine th uh, 3x over here, plus cosine 3x. And look at that, we can see that it indeed has period 2 pi. Notice that it doesn't have period pi, it doesn't have period 2 pi over 3, it only has period 2 pi, the shared period of the functions. And so the answer to this question is yes, period 2 pi. And there you have it. Now, let me ask you this question to test your understanding. What about the function cosine x plus cosine pi times x? 
Think about that one. Is that periodic? And if so, what is its period? And once you've tried it, head over to tutorterrace.com where you can find this question and many others along with worked solutions to help you prepare for your test. And if you need a little extra help, we're there for booking for online tutoring sessions.